Hey friends, this is Liron with another how to draw video. This time we're gonna do the second video in the series of drawing in perspective. Okay, um, in this video we're gonna focus on vanishing points and parallel lines. I set up here a very uh, simple horizon line and a vanishing point. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'll draw a little bit and explain what I've done so that you understand how um, how to start building scenes in um, perspective. Um, so the first thing that I'll have to uh, mention here is that basically parallel lines meet at infinity. So if you'll have two parallel lines and they will be moving away from you, what you're gonna see is them shrinking and shrinking and, and then um, joining in one joint point on the horizon line. Um, uh, they, they're all going to converge there. Now, if you have other sets of parallel lines, meaning parallel lines in different directions, they're going to be uh, converging into different vanishing points. But let's not go ahead of ourselves, get ahead of ourselves, rather. Um, I'll first draw a very simple um, scene and you will see how this works in action so I'll be back in a few minutes and seconds hopefully <laughs> not minutes and you'll see what I've done Okay, friends, I'm back. Uh, what I have here, what I've drawn, is a very basic, um, quite ugly uh, railroad tracks um, that are sort of moving away from us in a sort of desert um, scenery. So you can imagine all sorts of bushes here to the side and rocks. Um, not the best looking example, but still very efficient in getting the message, uh, conveying the message of having two parallel lines um, moving away from us. And if we were look, to look at these railroad tracks from above, what we would see is basically two straight lines, because, because they are parallel, we all know that. Um, so this is what happens um, when we draw in perspective, all parallel lines will converge to the same vanishing point. Now, if we were to look at this from a different angle, let's say, um, or let's go at it in a different direction. Can you recognize another group of parallel lines in this drawing that aren't these two? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. Take a look at these lines, these sort of um, wooden tracks here. Uh, they are also parallel, but the thing is we don't see them um, converging to any vanishing point because they are not moving away from us. If, however, we were to look at this same view from the side here and these were, would, be, would be moving away from us, then it'll look a little different. We will see them converging and this is exactly um, what I want to show you in uh, the next example. However, before I do that, let's first um, take a look at the background here and uh, aside from the railroad tracks. So as I taught you on the previous video, um, the further objects go away from us, the smaller they appear to be. So this means that this track which is actually the exact same size as this one, uh, will appear to be much smaller. And you can see this in action here. We take this one and it's like one, two, three, four, five. This is about five times, uh, appears to be five times larger than that one. But it all happens because of perspective. Because the further an object is, the smaller it will appear to be. So if we, were, if we have uh, this sort of a desert-like bush here, and we'll have another one back here, then this one is going to be smaller. And if we have a rock here, but we're going to have another one here, then it, it's going to be bigger. It might even block um, quite a large portion of this part of the paper. So uh, the further an object is, 
the smaller it'll appear and vice versa. Now, let's look at the exact same scenery only from this direction, okay? When these lines move away from us. Okay, um, just a word about setting up the scene. So just like the previous example, this one is also going to have a horizon line. Um, and we're going to choose a vanishing point. Now I don't want to confuse you, so we'll have it uh, at around the same area. There I go being inaccurate again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, we'll have it in about the same area and now let's move on to drawing the tracks that are uh, moving away towards us I'll do it in, away away from us I'll do it in time lapse so I'll be back in a few seconds and explain what I've done Okay, so now we have it, uh, <laughs> my messy, inaccurate um, version of the railroad tracks from uh, side view here. Um, as you can see, all the tracks converge to this vanishing point, um, as opposed to this example. So imagine that we'd turn our view over here. This is in fact what we'll see, these two lines are the exact same two lines here but the only difference is the angle from which we are looking at them okay so this is a, a rather simple concept to grasp but it can be tricky at times so you need to try and see which lines are moving away from you and are uh, parallel these lines are, are going to converge to some um, some identical uh, point on the horizon line uh, and sometimes you'll have multiple different groups of parallel lines all um, consolidating into one vanishing point um, if you ever looked at uh, a winding street that also has the element of height so the street goes up and then a little more up and then like this and then boom like this and then hopefully I make sense so you'll see that one part is converging into one vanishing point and then another is converging to a different vanishing point and so uh, this is something I'll touch in the future because it's a little bit more of an advanced concept but hopefully this gets the point across um, also this goes to show that you don't need it to be beautiful in order to be relatively accurate uh, and to look somewhat correct so I'll do my best to keep it a little more um, organized in the next videos but hopefully this gets the point across so we have this road and then we have this one from a different angle um, hopefully that was clear I hope you learned something new um, from this video um, please check out my website and subscribe because you'll be a part of my elite group to which I send um, content that isn't available anywhere else. Um, and also, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll also provide a link to my book on Amazon, my relevant book on drawing um, in perspective. So check that out as well. And I will see you soon.